Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about exponential weighted average. In our last class, we discussed about the problem with stochastic gradient descent. And in our next class, we discuss about uh, how to solve that problem with so stochastic gradient descent. Uh, so we use the concepts of exponential weighted average in our next class. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example and understand what exponential weighted average means. The example set, data set which we consider here is, let's take, we are collecting the temperature values for each day. Temp 1 means day 1 temperature, it is 45 degrees centigrade. Day 2 temperature, it is 44 degrees centigrade. Like that, we are taking values up to 365 days means we are taking, we are collecting the temperature values for one year. And the data, if you plot this data, the data looks like this. If our data looks like this, so now we will calculate the exponential weighted average. What is that? How to calculate? Let's understand. At the end, we will understand what's the use of this calculating exponential weighted average. We also call this as exponential moving average. Why we are calling it as exponential moving average? We will understand at the end of the class. So now let's calculate, let's how to calculate the exponential weighted average. V0 is equal to 0. So for the first data point, we're taking it as 0, not for the first data point. Initially, we're taking it as 0. And we are calculating exponential weighted average for the first point. V1 is equal to 0.9 V0 plus 0.1 temp 1. Means taking the first data point temperature 1, 0.9 V0 plus 0.1 temp 1. Means 90% of the previously calculated value plus 10% of the present today's day temperature. That is what we are using here. V2 is equal to 90% of the previously calculated. That's why 0.9 V1 plus 0.1 temp 2. The same way third day is equal to 0.9 V2 previously calculated plus 0.1 temp 3. Like that. So for V100 is equal to 0.9 V99 plus 0.1 temp 100. This is how we calculated the exponential weighted average. So the common equation is given uh, like this Vt is equal to beta times so here 0 0.9 means beta value is 0 0.9 beta times Vt minus 1 plus 1 minus beta into temp t. So 1 minus beta means point, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 that's why we are given as a 1 minus beta into temp t. This is what the common equation for calculating exponential weighted average. So if you consider this v100 is equal to beta v99 plus 1 minus beta into temp 100 v99 is equal to beta times v98 plus 1 minus beta into temp 99 v98 is equal to beta times v into 97 means previously calculated value plus 1 minus beta into temp 98 this is how the equation is now let's understand what this equation is calculating for suppose let's take if you are calculating v100 means 100th data point exponential weighted average v100 is equal to beta times v99 plus 1 minus beta times temp 100. If you substitute v99 in the equation previously calculated value, what's the value we are getting here? Beta v98 plus 1 minus beta temp 99. This is what we substituted. If you multiply it, beta square v98 plus beta times 1 minus b into temp 99. So the equation looks like the beta square v98 plus beta into 1 minus beta into temp 99 plus 1 minus beta into temp 100. Means we are using the previous values beta times temp 99. The same way if you substitute v98 here, what happens here? So beta square into v, v98 means beta times v97 plus 1 minus beta into temp 98. After substituting it, if you calculate the value is beta cube, beta power 3 times v97 plus beta square times temp 98 plus beta times temp 99 plus 1 minus beta into temp 100. So what we understand from these equations? If you are calculating V100 means we are considering 1 minus beta times of temp present value and beta times of temp 99, beta square times of temp 98, like that so on. If you go back, beta cube times of temp 97, beta power 4 times of temp 96, beta power 5 times of temp 95, like that we are going back. This is what we are calculating in the equation of exponential weighted average. 
so what we understand from this is uh, if you are going back like this if you are substituting temp 1 into beta power 99 so if you take beta is equal to 0.9 what's the value of beta power 99 beta power 99 is equal to 0 0.000 some small value will get this times multiplied by temp 1 means uh, if you are calculating v100 this is the important important point you have to understand if you are calculating v100 means if beta is equal to 0 0.9 99 0.9 so what's happening here temp 1 value is negligible temp 1 value is not taking into consideration so whenever we are calculating v100 the previous values only few of the previous values are taking into consideration remaining values are very negligible negligible values so how many data points previously how many previously selected points are taken into consideration that depends on based on the beta value let's check how it depends on beta value so temp1 is not taking part in calculating v100 this point you have to understand here now let's understand what's the value based on the beta value how we are considering previously previous values if beta is equal to 0 0.9 so what's the value of beta power 20 0.12 it's around 0.12 the same way if you take if you take beta is equal to 0 0.5 what's the value beta cube is equal to 0 0.12 means if beta cube means uh, we are considering only previously collected third th three points beta power 20 means previously 20 points so how many previous points we have to consider that depends on beta value if beta value is large we are considering more number of previous points based on that we are calculating the exponential average if beta is small we are considering only previously collected three points if beta is large we are cal calculating previously collected 20 points this is the important point you have to understand so how many number of points previous points are taking into consideration that is given by the equation 1 by 1 minus beta if beta is equal to 0 0.9 substitute 0 0.9 in this equation number of points is equal to 10 we will get the value of 10 if beta is equal to 0 0.5 substitute this in this equation number of points is equal to 2 means previous two points are taking into consideration means they are giving the much value remaining are negligible values not taking into consideration only these two points are taking into consideration means they are providing much value remaining points are negligible points that is what we have to understand like that if beta is equal to 0 0.98 number of points is equal to 50 so this is how we calculate the exponential weighted average so what's the use of this let's try to understand by uh, looking at the graph if you calculate the exponential weighted average for all the points and if you graph it like this uh, our our weighted graph looks like this it is very smooth it is moving average why we call it as moving average according to our data movement uh, we are calculating the average value that is why we call it a exponential moving average this name is uh, another name for exponential weighted average is exponential moving average see here for beta is equal to 0 0.98 we are getting a smooth smooth value average value if you consider beta is equal to 0 0.9 means we are getting some not smooth value why why we are not getting smooth value because if you take beta is equal to 0 0.9 previously previous 10 values based on previous 10 values we are calculating the average if you take beta is equal to 0 0.98 based on previously collect previous 50 data points we are calculating the average that's why here we got a smooth value here we we didn't get the smooth value if you take very low value what happens if you take beta is equal to 0.5 we are taking a, we are taking into consideration previous two data points that's why we got a value we zigzag like this we are not getting a smooth value so this is what we are calculating in exponential weighted average this this is very important to understand our next class we use the concept of exponential weighted average in our next class when we discuss about stochastic gradient descent solution hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you